tired of mud, turn that into something. Nigga, I stand on bills, don't kill us and trick them, so let me for something. Think it don't try me, I keep. What's good? Y'all back for another video. I'm gonna be react to Young Dog Murder Child. Yeah, we first have to wake up early this morning. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. We're on the road to 2,000 subs. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to upload videos every single day. I haven't really seen what, what happened. I just seen his brother, like, on Twitter. I just seen the picture of his brother, but I really don't know. But we finna, we finna react to it, bro. We finna react to it. Let's get into it. Those who kill Young Dog finally All right, trial. But nobody knew how crazy it was gonna get. Some shocking new info came out that could really turn up the streets of Memphis. And today we're breaking the whole thing down. Justin Johnson, aka Straight Drop, went on trial for being one of the dudes who pulled the trigger on Young Dolph back in 2021. Straight Drop and a dude named Cornelia Smith pulled up on Dolph while he was buying cookies at Makita that shit so, cookies in Memphis and started letting off shots. That shit's so sad because bro, probably, Dolph probably didn't even have his gun on him that time. He did, but it probably was in the car. It probably was his gun in the car. He probably didn't have his gun on him that time. He probably thinking like, bro, I'm cool, I'm cool and I'm chilling, bro. I'm getting them cookies, bro. I'm minding my business. Somebody pull up on me shooting. Like, that shit's sad, bro, bro. If y'all got a gun, bro, I'm telling y'all, bro. Make sure y'all shit loaded and ready to blow. Because, bro, it's either you or them, bro. It's like you want to live or either them, bro. That shit's so sad. He probably wasn't even expecting. Like, hey, hey, let me just get, let me grab my gun and take my shit in the shower. He probably was, probably was, he probably was respecting them like, hey. I ain't gonna bring my gun in. I'm trying to just the eat the down, Straight dropped it the race and head out in Indiana. But the cops tracked him down in 2022 and brought him back to Memphis. Before the trial started, there were all kinds of rumors going around about why Dolph got killed. But then Cornelia Smith took the stand to testify and shocked everyone. When the prosecutor opened the case, he started off by telling the jury that young Dolph got killed because Yo Gotti's brother Big Juke put 100k on his head. Straight Drop wanted to be signed to Yo Gotti CMG label. And that's why a dude named Hernandez Govan put straight drop on the hit. Govan was tight with Big Jug and helped see him. That shit's so crazy because, like, he probably wasn't even thinking, like, hey, he wasn't gonna get, he was gonna get hit with that many rounds. Like, hold on, man, six, six. Like, he probably wasn't even thinking, like, hey, I'm, bro got hit with so many rounds in a minute of seconds. Like, you feel me? He got hit with so many rounds in a minute of seconds. He didn't even get to up his five. You know what I'm saying? Like when I, if I ever went out like that, like you feel me, I would, would at least want to up my fire, get a couple, at least a couple shots, bro. But bro, you get to up his fire. He wasn't even thinking of. He probably wasn't even thinking of like in that set of mind, like somebody's gonna pull up and shoot me. You know what I'm saying? He probably had respect. Like he probably didn't want to bring his gun inside. Probably was some like I think some old people he probably didn't want to bring his gun inside. That shit's sad as hell, cause like I knew rappers for the label. I don't be out here robbing, bro. Like kill people, bro. That shit. Come with consequences, is get back with that shit. Prison. After Juke put the hit out, Govan set it up and got Straight Drop and Cornelia Smith to pull the trigger. Straight Drop wanted to get his cloud up and sign a deal with CMG. And Govan knew Cornelia he just got too Smith. much money. Was that a TV the in the car? Out, Govan set it up and got Straight Drop and Cornelia Smith to pull the trigger. Straight Drop wanted to get his cloud That's up and sign a deal car? with CMG. Yeah, and Govan knew Cornelia Smith was addicted to drugs and needed money. Cloud up and sign a deal with CMG. And Govan knew Cornelia Smith was addicted to drugs and needed money. Cause Govan was the one selling the drugs to him. On the first day of the trial, Cornelia Smith flipped on Straight Drop and told everything. They placed a Was there both shooters? The I know one of them to this side or it was a shooter. Was he a shooter too? The one to the left? Or was he involved? Cornelia Smith flipped on straight drop and told everything. Damn. They played surveillance footage of the hit going down, and Cornelia Smith identified himself in straight he drop. He can't even control shooter. that bit. What a lot of people didn't know before the trial is that young Dolph's brother Marcus was with him at the cookie shop that day. This shit's day. so sad. Cause look. Down, and Cornelia Smith identified him. Cause look, bro. Look. Look how he shot the gun. Look, he shot. He shot from the right, right? So that means Dolph must have. When he shot him, Dolph fell. She look. Told everything. They played the shot off him right here. Boom, 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 boom. He fell. And then ran to the left. Hit him. He's on the ground. Look, he shoot at him on the ground. What a lot of people that didn't know crazy. before the trial is that young Dolph's brother Marcus was with him at the cookie shop that day. Dolph Marcus. and Marcus pulled up in Dolph's Corvette and went inside. But they had no idea that Straight Drop and Cornelia Smith were already following them. According to Cornelia Smith, they knew Dolph was going to be in town because it was close to Thanksgiving, and he always gave out free turkeys to people who couldn't so afford to buy their sad own. Cause. The plan was to catch Dolph at the turkey drive and kill him there. But while Straight Drop and Smith were driving around, they spotted Dolph's Corvette and started following him. Right after Dolph and Marcus walked into the cookie shop, Straight Drop and Cornelia Smith pulled up and hopped out of their stolen Mercedes. Cornelia Smith started letting off shots with a Draco, and Straight Drop was right behind them shooting with a pistol. 
that blew out the windows of the cookie shop and hit Dolph over 20 times, but Dolph's brother Marcus started shooting back at them. Marcus emptied a clip in his pistol. Then he ran outside and grabbed another strap from Dolph's whip while Straight Drop and Smith were driving off. Marcus hit both of them, but yeah, Straight Drop and crazy. Cornelius Smith knew they couldn't go to a hospital. Cornelius Smith said he didn't feel nothing at the time and that he was just trying to get some money. He said that his son had died just a few months before he killed Dolph and he had been using drugs to deal with the loss. Hernandez Govan was the one selling drugs to Cornelius Smith and he knew that Cornelius needed money to feed the addiction. What makes the situation even more shocking is that Cornelius Smith killed young Dolph on his own daughter's birthday. Cornelius said, Stupid. man, I was trying to make it right for it. I ain't had no money. I'm trying to get some money that day. Bro, you could have took your ass get some money anywhere else, bro. Like, what the fuck you thought was going to happen? You thought you going to kill a rapper and get away with like, they not going to investigate this shit? Oh, uh, well, you can just kill him. We're just going to let the case go. No, my nigga. They going to investigate. You could have took your black ass to construction, pour concrete. We could have did anything, bro. It's a lot of ways to get money, bro. For your daughter, bro. Like, where you don't have to eat, you didn't have to go smoke somebody up. Bro. That shit's so crazy. You a dumbass. I'm trying to make sure my baby girl have a beautiful birthday. Cornelius Smith said he didn't really start talking about what he did till he got arrested and sobered up in jail. That's when the situation actually got to him, and he decided to flip and tell the cops everything about what went down. After Straight Drop and Cornelius Smith killed Dolph, Straight Drop FaceTimed Big Juke and spelled out Dolph's name in sign language so Juke would know they were the ones who took him out. Big Juke was supposed to pay Hernandez Govan 20k for setting the hit up, and Straight Drop and Cornelius were both supposed to get 40k each, but Cornelius said that he only got $800 for the hit. Poor stupid as hell, cuz. Hernandez Govan that day, while Straight Drop was supposed to get the money. Hernandez Govan knew that Cornelius had been shot and left blood at the scene, and he asked him if they had masks on when they killed Dolph. Later that same day, Hernandez Govan put up on Cornelius again. Hey, look, blood at the scene? Him. One of them got shot, so. Later that same day, say we got Hernandez Govan put up on Cornelius again, and Cornelius Smith asked him for money to buy pills. Cornelius Smith and Straight Drop dished the stolen Mercedes at an abandoned house across the street from where Hernandez Govan lived. That's so Straight fucking stupid, bro. Why could you go that far? You might as well should have put that bitch in the water or something. Testified against his own brother during the trial. Jamarcus said that he didn't know anything Nigga about said the across the street. Like, the police not finna go. They not finna look around in the area. Like, just looking around, bro. Like, they not finna just look. They finna look around in the area, bro. But that straight drop hit him up right after it went down. Jamarcus was working at a warehouse and didn't have a car. But straight drop called him and said he was giving them a whip so he could get to work without having to ask other people for rides. When Jamarcus met up with straight drop, straight drop gave him a phone and told Jamarcus he wanted him to post a couple things on Instagram for him. Jamarcus didn't know what was going on, but he took the phone anyway. While Straight Drop was on the run, Jamarcus was the one talking to Cornelius Smith on the phone Straight Drop gave him. Cornelius kept talking about getting money from Unc, and it turns out that he was talking about Big Juke. Straight Drop was telling Cornelius Smith the situation was too hot for them to get the money yet, though. According to Cornelius, he'd only met Big Juke once before the shooting was. Too hot to get the money, man. I don't give a fuck. Bro, if you did a hit, bro, it's already hot. We just, you know what I'm saying? You already took somebody out, bro. Where my money at, bro? Who got money at? <laughs> like, bro, it's my too hot. To get, bro, you don't get my money, bro. Cordelia it's already Smith too hot. Linked up with Hernandez Govan and Big Juke. Like Eight hundred dollars. That's when they started planning everything. After Dolph got killed, Big Juke only paid Cornelia Smith eight hundred dollars and told him to come up with a good alibi if he got caught up in the case. There were rumors that Yo Gotti and Big Juke were connected to Dolph's case from the jump. Dolph had been beefing with them for years, and they'd already tried to kill him twice. A dude who worked as Dolph's security also testified at Straight Drop's trial and confirmed all the rumors about Dolph's beef with Yo Gotti and Big Juke were true. Damn. It all basically started because Gotti wanted to sign Dolph to CMG, but Dolph made his own lane and stayed independent. Then they started dissing each other Hating back and forth. Nigga, and CMG tried to kill Dolph twice. The prosecutor like brought up Dolph's track 100 shots during the trial. Dolph's whip got hit up over 100 times when he was in North Carolina, and after it went Damn, down, they tried to take him out the first time. Damn, I ain't nothing about that. A hundred shots and rap. I want to A hundred shots, a hundred shots. How the fuck you bitch a whole hundred shots? shots. Of this, man. Then one of Gotti's affiliates got arrested for shooting Dolph in Los Angeles a few months later. The dude ended up getting set free without catching any charges. But everybody knew that Dolph's beef with Gotti and CMG was deeper than rap. After Dolph got killed in 2021, like Bray, it ain't never that. It ain't never that harsh to to want to sign somebody that bad, bro. Like, y'all niggas both getting money. Why the hell? Because this nigga say he want to stay independent, make his own money. He going to go go, hey, bro, I'm going to kill this nigga, bro. He don't want to. He don't want to sign my own. want to come over here and sign. Get sign with you. Bro, get your hate ass on. bullet fragments all over his body. But some of them are old pieces that never got taken out. 
It's not Damn. clear if they're from when Dolph got shot in LA though. And some people think CMG might have tried to kill him even more times than everyone knew about. Straight drop getting snitched on by Julia Smith and his own brother was bad for his case. But the cops already had a ton of evidence on him. Security cameras caught Straight Drop leaving his apartment in the same clothes and whip that he used during the hit. And after they killed Dolph, Straight Drop was spotted on another camera going to his cousin's apartment to change clothes, then going straight back to his own place to pack his bags and leave Stupid. town. Don't care. The night before Dolph got killed, Straight Drop linked up with some dudes at a gas station. He can change his clothes and shit. Boy, you don't sit your ass down. Like, nigga, do a hit after that. Like, nigga, don't supposed to go nowhere. You don't supposed to even leave the house. Nigga, you had the same clothes on. You burned them clothes. Them is caught. Them on caught on on camera clothes. You on you on camera on a, You just did a hit. You go to a hotel. They got you on camera with the clothes on. You just did a hit with. You supposed to go nowhere. You supposed to, you supposed to went straight to the house and not move, bro. Stolen Mercedes he used for the hit. A dude named Kissing Gardner also testified and said he was the one who gave straight drop the Mercedes. Kissing Gardner didn't know it was about to go down though, and he told the court that Young Dolph was like family. The cops also had cell phones. What's so up, crazy? Man? They connected this shit. They got so much evidence. Look, cell towers. Oh my fucking god. They got so much evident evidence, bro. You, you cook it. You cook, bro. Oh, you're cook. <laughs> they got so much evidence, bro. They got cell towers. Like, bro, you fuck, bro. That proof what you gonna tell a lot now? It's all the gas station where he got the Mercedes, his apartment, and the shop where they killed Dolph. Plus, the records confirm that Straight Drop at FaceTime Dick Chuck where after the hit went down. During the prosecution's closing arguments, they laid out the whole situation for the jury. Big Chuck put 100k on Dolph's head, and Hernandez Govan helped him set it up and brought Straight Drop and Cornelia Smith into the situation. After Straight Drop and Cornelia Smith agreed to pull the trigger on Dolph, they spent two weeks planning the hit. According to Cornelius, yeah. Big Chuck actually had a bag on anyone's head from Dolph's label PRE, but Dolph Nah, he wanted that bad, like, bro. This nigga right here, huh? Like, bro, what are you? For what? what? What was so much hate there? Big Chuck actually had a bag on anyone's head from Dolph's label PRE, but Dolph was the top op. They had Cornelia Smith's testimony, videos from security cameras, and phone records to back it all up. At the end of the day, it only took a That shit is so sad. Like, you probably getting signed to a label. You ain't got shit to do with nothing going on. You a regular ass nigga, but you get, you just get signed to Dolph's label. I think Dolph said you independent, but say you Dolph signed you, whatever. And now they want you dead. You know what I'm saying? You don't got nothing going on. You don't got nothing. You a young nigga out the hood. You just got Dolph signed your ass. You know what I'm saying? You happy as hell. That just got signed to Dolph. You know what I'm saying? Now niggas want to kill you because you associated with Dolph. Because you signed over there. Like, that shit Four crazy. Hours back and decide that straight drop was guilty. The judge hit him with a life sentence for murdering young Dolph. And he's going to get Lock his ass straight up. Because straight drop sells other charges that haven't been handled yet. People thought Hernandez Govan and Cornelia Smith would be part of the same trial as Straight Drop, but the district attorney decided to handle all three cases separately. Cornelia Stupid. Smith and Hernandez Daughter, not even gonna see him. Govan could both end up getting life sentences too, but Big Juke got killed before the cops could get to him. He got killed? Big Juke got killed? Both end up getting life sentences too, but Big Juke got killed before the cops could get to him. Killed In him. January 2024, Big Juke got killed. 2024? He got killed in 2024? Before the cops could get to him. In January 2024, Big Joke got killed right after he went to his uncle Eric Bobon's funeral. Big Joke was outside of a Perignon's restaurant and event center in Memphis when some shooters rolled up and killed him in broad daylight. Big Joke and Yo Gotti had a lot of power. Well, they wanted his ass bad. They wanted his big ass bad. Hey, broad daylight. Hey, 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 they shooters wanted his ass up bad. And killed him in broad daylight. Big Joke and Yo Gotti had a lot of power in Memphis. And their uncle, Eric Bovon, aka Las Vegas, was one of the biggest drug dealers in the city. He was making millions back in the day running drugs from California to Memphis. Damn. But his whole crew got taken down back in the 80s after one of them flipped and started working the with the FBI. Big Joke and Yo Gotti allegedly followed their uncle into the streets and were making money in the drug game way before they got into music. Gotti's had beef with a lot of rappers in the game, but it seemed like he hated Dolph more than anyone. Dolph was also in the streets before he started rapping, and rumors say he used to sell weight to Big Joke. Then after Gotti and Dolph started beefing, Dolph ditched Joke and Gotti on the track play with your bitch and rapped, don't play with me ho Gotti, you a hoe man, you went from my biggest fan to my biggest hater, begging Damn. me to sign with you, but I had too much paper, still that same nigga that used to front your big brother, found out he a bitch too, now I call him your big sister. Damn. Stay in your place homie, you know what's up with me. 
Tell your fat ass big brother, man, I said he a bitch too. Damn. In fact, your big sister. Tell your fat ass big sister that I said he a bitch too. Right after <laughs> Dolph died, him. one of his homies even hopped on social media. <laughs> I said he a bitch too. Right after Dolph died, one of his homies even hopped on social media and claimed that Big Jug is the one who put the bag on his head. I said, if man, I that nigga Gold Hero was pissed out, cuz. Too, if I see got it, if I see, if I see, uh, if I see Migo, if I see Young Star, shit ain't got nothing Stand to do with nobody else, bro. I said if I see them folk, because these folk got some had something to do with it, bro. These folk, the juke put a hit out. You know what I'm saying, boo? Nah, fuck it, bro. I need to say that. Don't say that. Nigga, tell the truth. Say, man, hey, bro, how you gonna feel if I told you? Hey, man, look, bro. My juke put a man. That shit it. crazy, cause that nigga got that nigga. Uh, what's his name? Fuck, what's his name? And then they caught his ass in the mall. I mean, not the mall, but the airport. How the hell you let this nigga, uh, girl hero smack the fuck out you with one hand? Oh, my God. Man, hey, bro, how you gonna feel if I told you? Hey, man, look, bro. Imagine you in the airport and you see a nigga. <laughs> and the nigga see you like, bro, when I see you, I'm, I'm gonna smack the fuck out you. And nigga got one hand. He just he just knocked the fuck out you with one hand. Like, that just put a crazy. Just put a down on hit on you, bro. Like, you, hey, come on, bro. I'm standing on there. I ain't no, I ain't, uh, bro. I'm not no shake knives on my head. After Juke got killed, a lot of people thought Dolph's homies were sliding for him. But the situation might be way more complicated than that. On the last post Big Juke made on Instagram before he died, he said, They don't want to face you. They want to snake you. Stay alert to stay alive. Watch mm. your back at all times. And after Cornelia Smith confirmed that Big Juke is the one who paid for the Dolph hit, rumors have been flying that someone on Juke's side took him out before he could get questioned by the police. Some people even think Yo Gotti and his own brother killed to keep himself safe. But there's not enough evidence to back the story up. Gotti's name wasn't mentioned much during Straight Drop's Boy. trial. And it's not clear. And the nigga put the snake emojis in his comments. In his bio. Boy. Story up. Gotti's name wasn't mentioned much during Straight Drop's trial. Bro, I get that big. Bro, you don't need nobody. Bro, you don't need all these homies, bro. You get that big. You not need all these homies, bro. These niggas will snake you out. Bro, I'm telling you, not need all these homies, bro. Like, you don't, bro. Don't care if he even knew about the bag that Big Jug had on Dolph's head. But even if Gotti knew about the situation, it doesn't mean he's the one who put a green light on Dolph. Right now, there's nothing linking Gotti to the case. But when did. Hernandez Govan goes on trial, more info could come out about the whole situation. Hernandez Govan was allegedly tight with Yo Gotti too. And if Gotti was involved with the situation, there's a good chance that Hernandez will flip on Gotti to try to get the deal. Right now, Hernandez Govan is facing a life sentence if he gets convicted. So a lot of people think he'll tell the cops anything. Man, that nigga be like, bro, that nigga hit that life sentence, bro. Do you already get charged with it? Man, that nigga better off. That nigga gonna start over his life. life sentence if he gets convicted. So a lot of people think he'll tell the cops anything he knows, just like Cornelia Smith did. And now that everybody knows that Juke paid for the Dolph hit, the streets in Memphis might get even crazier. Young Dolph had a lot of love in the city and definitely had people on his side that would want to get back for his death. Hopefully it's not how it goes down though, because the city has already lost way too many people over the situation. Man, what's so crazy about that situation, bro? The candidates, Chris. What's so crazy about that situation, bro? Real life dolphins out here, bro. I'm talking about regular niggas just like me. You know what I'm saying? Regular niggas. Say a nigga that you know what I'm saying. Catch you out of public. He wanna, he wanna, he wanna do that to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He probably wanna do that to you. Like, yeah, nigga, that's dolph. Well, dolphin, they probably ready to go for. They probably where to stand. They probably ready to stand on that. I ain't gonna lie to you. A nigga like me probably see you in public and they probably in here a die hard man you probably bro he probably gonna stand on about that but make sure y'all boys like comment subscribe you know what i'm saying i'm gonna drop a video another video to this but you know what i'm saying road to 2000 subs peace we out